What's up YouTube, Zero here. Welcome to the place where gamers, witches, wizards, and superheroes unite. Today, we have a blueprint variant of the Diamati, the Tiny Comrade, in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So you can see the Tiny Comrade on the screen. Let's get into the setup. So, no optic, we have a muzzle, the sound suppressor, which is going to increase the muzzle flash concealment at a cost of effective damage range. We have the 6.5 cavalry lancer, which is going to increase the vehicle damage. Then we're going to go down to body, the steady aim laser, which is going to increase the hip fire accuracy. Then we have a magazine, the 30 round mag, which is going to increase the magazine ammo capacity, starting ammo at a cost of reload quickness and aim down sight time. And finally, dual wield. So we're going to be rocking two pistols, one in each hand, shooting, shooting those enemies. You can see the camo on the screen. Without further ado, let's get into some gameplay. So first, before we get into it, I do want to say that if you do enjoy this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button somewhere down there. For more Call of Duty content, I do a bunch of other video games, so check those out as well. Believe it or not, subscribing and hitting that thumbs up button does really help me out. So thank y'all in advance for doing that. Where do you get the Tiny Calm Raid? It is in a pack that you can purchase for 1,800 COD points. It is called the Tracer Pack Violet Anime. You can see the camo is an anime woman. It's kind of violet. The Tracer Rounds are violet. So that's where the violet comes from. This blueprint, this pack, not this blueprint, this pack comes with two other blueprints, one for the RPD and one for the AK-74U. I've done videos on those, so check those out. And it also comes with a tank ornament. Not my favorite, but if you want a tank ornament, it is in this pack. Now let's talk about the setup on the Diamantes. I love it. I honestly love it for the most part. Now there is one attachment that I do not like and y'all can probably guess it. It's pretty obvious. But let's talk about all of the other attachments that I do like. We have dual wield. It is absolutely awesome for close range. Then we have the steady aim lasers. We're not aiming down sight. We are legit hip firing because of our dual wield. So those two work perfectly with each other. Then we have the suppressor, which is gonna keep us off the minimap. These are close range guns. You're gonna be getting in the face of a lot of enemies. I don't recommend running around with it like I do in this gameplay, but it is good for those close quarter situations. Maybe you're in your enemy's spawn. If you're on Nuketown, you're in the house, you're kind of running around there. You're gonna be able to stay off the enemy's radar. So that's awesome. So that's three attachments that I love. And then you have the extended mag, the 30 round mag. Again, if you're in the enemy spawn, you're on Nuketown, you're in the building, the house, 30 rounds is gonna be great for you to take out a couple of enemies. Again, you're not gonna really be running around with this like I am, I just wanted to showcase the guns. But it's great to pull out when you know you're gonna be getting into that close combat situation. The extended mag is going to help you take out two or three opponents without having to reload. So it's also great because it subtracts from the aim down sight time and you're not aiming down the sight, you're dual wield. So really this combination of attachments is almost perfect. And then there is the one that increases damage to vehicles. And that's where I shake my head. That's where we are getting the attachment that I would say, get that out of here. Let's get a better attachment on. Maybe one that increases the range slightly. Although hip firing, you can see there, you're not always gonna be hitting your target. You're hip firing. You do have the lasers on, but it still is sometimes hard because it's dual wheel to be hitting your target all the time. It has to be pretty close range. So maybe if you're getting a little bit more range, you could be a little bit, do a little bit more damage over those longer ranges. It could be a little bit better. But overall, you have four attachments that are really solid on this. You could run around in the house on Nuketown. You can capture hard points like I am here and do absolutely fantastic with it. Don't run around with it because there were situations where 
I got caught with my pants down, essentially. I was trying to kill an enemy that was just too far away, and by too far away, they were a stone's throw away. They weren't that far away, but for the Diamati, dual Diamati's sake, tiny comrade's sake, they were pretty far away. So I like four attachments on this gun. I don't like one. If you're shooting at vehicles, let's say you're in Warzone and you're shooting at vehicles, you're most likely not going to pull out a dual Diamati to do so. And you have to be pretty close to a vehicle in Warzone or in another game mode to do significant damage with dual wielding pistols. So it's not going to be your first choice to do damage to a vehicle. If you want to do damage to vehicles, if you're in Warzone and you want to do damage to a vehicle or vehicles, put an RPG as your secondary. Use a rocket launcher. I highly recommend doing that over using the Diamatis. Equip C4. That's going to help you destroy that vehicle a lot better than dual Diamatis. Dual Diamatis are used for taking out enemies in close proximity and you could take out because of the extended mag you could take out multiple enemies and feel safe doing so two or three enemies and definitely feel safe doing so you see some in the clip it was definitely fun though i enjoyed running around with the dual diamatis my kd took a hit in a couple of games there were games where i did get a significant amount of kills there's one game i went 38 limbs but I also had 38 deaths. I was trading a lot in that match. But it was still fun to run around with dual Diamatis. And I'm sure, sure the enemies weren't extremely happy. It's kind of like when you're facing those people running around with knives. You're not extremely happy as the enemy facing those knives. But if you're a person running around with knives, I'm sure you're just having a grand old time. You're not really caring about your limb to death ratio. You're just having a grand old time with a knife and most likely a smoke grenade. But there's me getting into their spawn again, just trying to rush them because I cannot go toe to toe with a sniper. I tried, it did not work. The sniper got me. Every time, even when the sniper hip fired the one time. Yeah, that happened. You just have to shake your head on that. But then somebody slides up, you duel, you duel pistol them, and it's all good. It's all good in the world. You have this anime woman on your camo. It's a cool camo. Let's talk about the camo, because I did not talk about the camo yet. The camo is awesome. It is nice to look at. It's different from the camos you can unlock just grinding in the game. And that's something I look for when I am purchasing a pack. If I'm going to spend that COD, those COD points, I like something that I can admire, that I can look at, that looks nice. Emblems are cool, but during this game, I'm not looking at my emblem. I don't see my emblem, but I do see my camo on my guns and when i'm killing enemies they're gonna see the camo on my guns yeah they'll probably see my emblem too but i'm not seeing my emblem as much i'm not seeing my calling card as much so me personally this is just my personal preference when i am purchasing packs i prefer to get those gun blueprints that have the camo that have the cool setup on them because I like to just use the blueprint as is. You can still switch these around. Again, you can get rid of that vehicle damage and put on another attachment, and I recommend doing so, especially if you're not going after vehicles, because it's absolutely a worthless attachment if you're not shooting at vehicles. You can see in this gameplay, there are no vehicles on Nuketown that I'm shooting with Diamatis. I'm shooting people, and unless... I, it, I don't even know who could be considered a vehicle. Like, The Rock is The Rock. He's not even a vehicle. He's a rock. So, pff, can't even count The Rock as a vehicle. I don't know. But switch that out, and you're going to have a fantastic setup for the Diamatis, and you're going to level up the Diamatis like crazy because you're going to want to use them. You're going to unlock gold camo on it, and you're going to say, this violet anime camo, pretty nice. I may just keep this. And then you can see me completely missing my shots because the dude's head's just showing I don't know what was going on there. I'm sitting there shooting and all my bullets are missing. Very weird. 
very weird sometimes when you're trying to kill people and your bullets are just not hitting even though they're pretty close to you. I don't know what goes on in Call of Duty sometimes. Sometimes I try to shoot and I just, I don't know, I shoot the ground. It's just, it happens. I'm just... It was still pretty good gameplay, and I hope y'all enjoyed this gameplay. Again, if you did, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. I think this gun is absolutely a great blueprint to use. And the pack in general, I like the Violet Anime Camo. You can check out the other blueprint videos that I've done and see what I said about those in those videos. Overall, I am definitely happy with the purchase of this pack. So... Thank y'all for tuning in and until next time, peace.